guys. So I'm back again today. Um, I just wanted to get my stocking stuffer for her out. Everything is under... Everything would be under about $15. Depends on how much you buy, when you buy it, if it's on sale or not. Like, everything is at your discretion. And it depends on the people you're buying for. So, um, but these are all things that I already have or... Um, have bought in the past that I would I would really like to get in my stocking. Um, my husband and I do stockings every year, so um, it's kind of a tradition that we want to carry on, like when we have kids and stuff. So um, we have started doing stockings for each other, um, and we'll probably continue doing them for each other once we have kids. But um, anyways, this is kind of stuff that I would like to get in my stocking. A lot of this isn't really um, new stuff. This is stuff that I've bought in the past. Um, or that I've received last year that I would like, uh, that I want to show you. I will try and remember to indicate, uh, which is what stuff that you can get now and what stuff is stuff that I got, like, last year or something at Chris for Christmas. Um, but anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get started. First thing on my, on my little list is these. Um, so this is actually the holder, but it's just, like, the mini candles from Bath & Body Works. Um, I really like the Christmas ones, and I haven't actually bought any this year. Um, I haven't bought any of the mini ones, just because I've been wanting, like, the bigger ones. Because since they last longer, I want, like, the bigger ones more. But I am starting to run out of these, and so that's kind of upsetting because, I mean, I like to burn, like, these ones, like, the winter ones throughout the winter. Um, I don't know. It just, I haven't really been burning them a whole lot, just because... It doesn't really feel like winter here right now. It's, it's like cold. Like I'm sorry, it's cold, but like there's no snow or anything. And like I live in Canada, and there's usually snow at this time, so it's it's a little weird for me. Um, anyway, another thing that you could that would be nice to get in a stocking for a girl maybe is well, somebody who likes candles is these little like candle sleeves. So this is the mini one. They have a bigger version of this. I'm not entirely sure where it is. It might be... Where is this? It might be in a bathroom. At least I thought I had another version. This is last year's, I believe. Um, They have one... Oh, no, I don't have one of these, actually. I only have the little one. But I have... Um, I have one of these in the little one, but they do. I do know that they have um, bigger ones this year. Um, they also have the mini ones, but it's on a pedestal. It's on a cute little pedestal this year, which is kind of nice. It's different. The The snowflakes are a little different too, I think. Um, but I, I would like to get my hands on those just because they are, they are super nice. I really do like them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like this. It was really simple. It sits up on my, my craft uh, bookcase, and then it just sits in there like that. Just super cute. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, some of my favorite scents, I'll just tell you some of my favorite winter scents, or like holiday scents. Uh, some of mine are winter, marshmallow fireside, twisted peppermint, um, just the season, champagne toast, spiced apple toddy, and holiday. Um, I believe this one is Tis the Season. Yeah. Yeah, so that one's Tis the Season. Um, this, so the holder is $5. They usually are. They might have gone up in price because they've, Bath & Body Works has kind of upped their game this year. Um, and I've noticed that their holders are a little bit more pricier. Um, and then the mini candles are 3 for 12 I believe. The candles have also gone up in price too, so I'm, I'm wondering if they've upped their game that way too. The second thing is also from Bath & Body Works. It's something that I really, really love, um, and I actually use a lot of, especially now that like I'm volunteering and I'm around kids a lot. Um, so it's their mini hand sanitizers. These are the new These are the new formula. Back in probably like the spring, early summer, they changed their formula and the design of the packaging. Um... They actually made them so that they won't dry your hands out anymore. The old ones used to, they were good and they had like certain good things in them, but they used to dry out people's hands apparently. And I had the same kind of problem. And so these ones now have like aloe vera and 
like vitamin E and stuff in them. So, um, that's kind of good. Uh, they also have these cute little pocket holders for them. This is a Christmas one. This one, this is one you can get right now. It's five fifty. Then I have this one, uh, which is one another one you can also get. It's just a sparkly snowflake. That one was also five fifty. And then I have a Rudolph one. It's actually on my bag, and my bag's downstairs. Um, and that one was five fifty two. And then their pocket bags are usually three for five dollars. I know recently they had a sale. It was like seven for ten or something like that. Um, but this is Tista Season. I really like Tista Season, and Twisted Peppermint is one of my all-time favorites. I also have, like, Winter and Fresh Balsam. I have a bunch. Um, so some of my favorite hand sanitizers, if you're looking for people, are Winter, Twisted Peppermint, Jingle All the Way, Fresh Sparkling Snow, Tista Season, Fresh Balsam, Candy Cane Bliss, and Emergency Stash. Emergency Stash, I'm not, Stash, I'm not sure if you can still get that one, because it was one that came out in the fall. Um... But I would take a look around, maybe check during the SAS sale, which happens in January, because that's when they usually bring that kind of stuff back out. So my third thing is nail polish. I love getting nail polish. I know Essie has a new winter 2015 line out with uh, a few colors that I would love to get. Um, if I remember, I'll try and post a picture um, of them, because I'm pretty sure I took a picture of it with my phone. Um, the... They are a little pricey. Essie's a pretty pricey one. Um, excuse me. I usually don't spend like $10 on a nail polish, but for Essie, I usually will. Same with OPI. I will spend the $10 for OPI because I love OPI. I've been using it for years. So, um, yeah. And then I just recently um, started using Sally Hansen. I had bought in a color that I really liked. It's called Wine Knot. 480. Um, this is the color of it. It's coming up a little bit purple. I've showed this in a previous um, video and you've probably seen it on my nails before. It's just a really nice color. It's really, it's, I, I, it's a fall color but I, I feel like it could transfer over into winter. Um, just because it's, you know, it's a gorgeous shade of, like, purpley red. Um, I don't know, I just really like it. It's super easy to apply. Um, another one that, another couple ones that I picked up recently are, uh, these little, like, travel size of Essie. These are actually from the fall, um, the fall 2015 line. So there's this one, which is, like, Legend. It's just a, a bronzy, I tried to say gold and bronze at the same time. A bronzy gold. It's actually pretty pretty pigmented. I was actually uh, really surprised. Um, yeah, it's called Leggy Legend. It's uh, doesn't have the number on it. Um, anyways, but that's that one. And then there's this one, which is like a nice kind of matte purpley um, red. It's a little bit more red than than purple, but it's you know this one is coming off more purple. This one comes off more red. Um, so, this one's called With the Band. I don't know if you can still get these. Anyways, so the fourth thing I wanted to talk about uh, for stocking stuffers is uh, stationery. Um, you can get cool stationery at Chapters, Michaels. Um, HomeSense sometimes has stuff. Uh, they're great places to look, but Chapters especially, just because they have a whole section um, dedicated to stationery. Um, some examples I have here are, this is Kate Spade, uh, it's a sticky note uh, set, it retails for about $16, I'm pretty sure that's what I pay for it, if it's not, I would have paid $20 for it, like if they're not, it's not that bad, and you get 100 sheets of each sticky note, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight, seven different uh, things, like that includes like each individual page flag, so there's three page flags, and then the four like actual note writing things um so that's 700 like that's pretty decent for 20 bucks and then chapters also has like their own kind of brand i've talked about this and i talked about this in a get in my gift guide which hopefully will go up tonight it's i'm still kind of in the process of editing because it's such a long video but they have like these little like sticky note sets um that are super cute they have ones that are kind of more like, they're not really Christmassy, but, like, they are in, like, red and, like, 
white and stuff. Um, these retail for $12.95, so they're a cheaper uh, alternative. Um, I bought all these on sale, though. Um, so if you're looking for Christmas gifts, probably, you probably, well, they might. If you wait, like, right till the last minute, like, right before Christmas, they might go on sale. But don't hold me to it, because I, you never know when they're going on sale. Um, but I just thought that, I just think they're really cute. They're some of my favorite ones. I use them for a bunch of different projects. So, yeah, and then the last thing is these cute little paper clips. Um, you can get all the different kinds. I know right now they have owls. Uh, I think there's, there's like little hangers. These are Eiffel Towers. Uh, Kate Spade has a set, which are all, there's like two different sets. There's like bows, and then there's another one that's like all different kinds of like numbers and like symbols and stuff. Thing is washi tape. I love washi tape. I'm obsessed. I have like two bins full of it. Um, I think it's so great. It's such an easy way to decorate your planners and stuff. So, I really like it. So, um, just to, just as examples, I have this set. It has, like, two other ones, but I couldn't find them. But I just thought it was super gorgeous. This is a great, like, fall one. I used it during the fall on a bunch of, like, planner, um, pages. And then this is part of Heidi Swap's washi tape. You can find it in Michael's. It comes in, like, a pack of, like, eight. You don't get very much on it. Um, but... I mean, it's lasted me a while. I've had this since probably, like, September, and I haven't used very much of it. So, like, it lasts a while. Um, this one says Dream Big, but she has, I think there's four or five different color schemes. There's black, there's pink, there's blue, there's gold, and there's silver. So, five color schemes. Um, ranges in price. The Heidi Swap washi tape is $12.99 each, but then again, you're getting eight. Um, you can find washi tape at Walmart, too. Um, chapters sometimes, not always. All kinds. Etsy. Etsy's a, a really big place, and it's pretty cheap. Amazon um, has really cheap uh, washi tape. Number six, I don't actually have with me, but it's a blanket scarf. I actually have one. It, that's the only one I have. I would like to get another one. Um, maybe more of, like, a wool, like, winter one. Um... But yeah, I um they I'm not sure exactly how much they it's so great because like it's such a you can make it like a chunky scarf and it's like really that's really in right now, like that huge, like thick scarf look. And then you or if you you know if you're cold you can wrap it around yourself. Um Yeah, I just like it right now because it really keeps my neck warm and I've been having a hard time getting rid of the various amounts of colds that I've been getting. I'm sick right now. Like, um, so yeah, I'm, <laughs> I really like them because they give me that warm. Number seven uh, is costume jewelry. Places like H&M again and Forever 21 have really great stuff. Uh, pretty, it's decently priced and, um, it lasts a while. This is a necklace that I got at Forever 21. Um, I've had it for a few years now, actually, and it hasn't tarnished or anything. Um, I don't wear it on a daily basis, obviously. It's a little fancier than that, but I have worn it to a few weddings, and I wore it to Christmas last year, um, to my aunt, one of my aunts, and, um, uh, it's one of my favorites. I really like the whole, like, Baroque, like, damask look. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was, I think it was under $15, um... Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I can't remember how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it was under 15. Um, but they have all kinds. You can get earrings, you can get like multi-packs of earrings, like nice earrings. Um, you know, statement necklaces, look like actual like gift set statement necklaces, watches. Um, like they have all kinds of things. Um, so the next one is magazines or a next issue issue subscription. Um, so every year my mom used to get us a magazine. Um, and put it in our stockings. I have this thing, Next Issue, which is kind of like Netflix, but it's for magazines. And all you do is you just pay like $9.99 or $14.99. $9.99 is the basic package. $14.99 is the premium. And you get all these magazines. I had, oh, yeah, definitely something worthwhile in putting in, um, in putting in somebody's stocking because it's really handy for traveling because I am one of those people who likes to take magazines with me. But 
that it's bulky and it takes up room. So if I can just take my iPad with me and connect to like the hotel's Wi-Fi or something, then it's great because then I can just sit there and like read something. Yeah. Um, the next thing is travel size makeup items. Um, Sephora has great options. Um, I love Sephora's travel travel section. I shop there frequently. Um, I don't know. I'm one of those people who likes to try stuff out before I buy it. And Sephora's travel size section, like it's right, it's that section right at the cash, like all those like little like tiny things. Their travel size section is is great for people like me because then you can try something and not spend so much money that you're like, oh my gosh, why did I do this? Like, because what if you hate it? Like, I always think, like, what if I hate it? So, some ideas would be, from the travel size section, some great ones, uh, would be Too Faced, Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. It's a four-pack in the mini tubes. It's 32 bucks. It's part of their Christmas, uh, the holiday sets by Too Faced. Um, it's something that I really, really want. I haven't bought it yet for myself, and I probably won't because Christmas is so close, but, um, Jessie, if you're watching, hint, hint. Um, there is an Urban, Discre Urban Decay all-nighter setting spray. It's 15 bucks. It's a little tiny bottle. Um, I actually have it, but I think it's over there. I, I forgot to grab it. Um, it's, it's amazing. I wore it for my wedding. And my makeup did not mu did not budge at all. And, like, I was crying. I was, like, laughing to the point of crying. Like, it didn't budge at all. Like, I looked, uh, honestly, I looked good, uh, like, the whole night, which is what you want, right? Um, so, Smashbox Iconic Photo Finish found Foundation Primer um, is 19 bucks. It's, like, a clear, it's, it's clear. And I have, like, little samples that I've gotten in, like, Ipsy and whatnot. And I love it. It puts on your foundation so flawlessly. Like, you don't need very much. I have I have two tubes, and I haven't opened the one because I'm still on the first one. And, like, it looks like I've barely used it at all. Like, and I use it, like, at least two or three times a week. So, like, great. Um... Then there's a Kiesk Liquid Palisade Easy Peel Polish Barrier. It's seventeen dollars. I haven't actually tried this. I actually want this, um, but right now it's it's sold out. But what it is essentially is when you're painting your nails, you put this like you put it's like a it looks like a lip gloss applicator. You like put it around your nail, and then you paint your you let it dry, and then you paint your nails, and you don't have to worry about like goofing up. Because then you, it just peels off, and then you have, like, a, a great manicure. Um, <clears throat> I saw something similar online, which is why I was wondering. I was like, oh, I wonder if Sephora has something similar, um, and then how much it was. And they did, but they're, like, sold out. So um, I'm going to have to, like, wait and, like, see if I can get my hands on it. Because I really want to try it. Um, the next thing is Smashbox Try It Kit. Um I really like Smashbox. It comes with some of my favorite things in it. I actually would like to try this myself. I haven't seen it in any of my Sephora's recently, but um, then again, I haven't been looking that hard. But I can't remember if I said this, but it's $22. Um, the next thing is Urban Decay's After Dark Travel Pencil Set. It's $23. I love Urban Decay's 24. It's 24 7. Um, I love those those pencils um I have the black one I use it every day um and it's when you set it with something it does not it doesn't move sorry my throat was hurting um it's just a great set to get um I don't actually have it myself but um I would definitely be in, like interested in looking into it uh the next thing is the pinch provision provisions Mini emergency kit. It's twenty two dollars. I actually tried to make one of these, like a couple of these, myself for a couple for cousins of mine, like a couple years ago for Christmas, and they actually really liked them. I, they weren't as mini as like the ones that you get, like these ones. Um, these ones were like kind of like makeup bag sized, um, but it's amazing that they fit seventeen products in this thing, and they're so cute, like these little bags. I would love to get one in my stocking. It's I mean it's a little pricey. This is if you want to like kind of splurge on somebody you know, make them feel loved or something, I don't know, but, um, definitely something, you know, 
girls might find handy. Like, you know, there's a hair loss you can have band-aid, breath mints. Um, I'm not sure what all is in it, but definitely look those up if you're interested in buying it for somebody because it even makes, like, a cute little gift. Um, and then the last thing from the Sephora thing is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rollerball set. It's $30, and it comes with the two. It comes with, like, Nirvana White and Nirvana Black. I actually really want this. Um, I, yeah, and I think they have another one where it's not the roller bar, it's, like, really, really mini, like, travel sizes of the actual bottles, and I wouldn't mind having that either, because I think the bottles are super cute on these tennis okay. cool socks. So I have these ones. These are from Bath & Body Works, so the Shea Infused socks. These are my little reindeer ones. And my little polar bears. These ones, actually... Are a little bit pink. They're not supposed to be, but uh, these ones got thrown in there one day and they ran a little. So if, watch out for that. Like, um, wash with light colors. Um, they're about eight or nine dollars. These are nine dollars. At Bath and Body Works. Um, they have all. These are from last year. They have um different. They have all kinds of different ones, and they're just as cute. Um, um, I'm going to have to go and look and see what they've got, because I would like to get, like, maybe a couple more pairs or something. I think I... The next thing is candy or chocolate. I mean, this time of year, like, there's all, like, that cool, like, Christmas... Christmas-themed candy. Um, so, I mean, you can't go wrong with putting some stuff in the... In the... In the stocking. Uh, based on what they, what they like and what your price point is and stuff. Um, I like getting, like, candy canes and, um, like, Hershey Kisses and, uh, I don't know, jelly beans and stuff. I don't know. Um, and another thing is a calendar. Um, there's one, I mean, it's a little pricier and it depends if you want to, like, splurge on a person if you're who's stocking your stuffing or whatever. Um, but it's a Kate Spade one, and it's super nice. It's a desk one. I actually asked my aunt to get me this for Christmas um, because I just thought it was really cute. Um, and you can use it afterwards, uh, like, after the year's done because there's, like, these cute little things on the back of it that say, like, what you should be doing this year, this month or whatever. So, like, December's is, like, be merry. Wear ugly Christmas sweaters and stuff like that. So, like, there's... <laughs> It's just really cute. It's reusable. Um, you can get them other, like, cheaper places, um, like, places like Walmart and Shoppers. They have a lot of, like, nice, cheaper ones. Uh, the Kate Spade one's 25 bucks. so if I hadn't, if I didn't already say that. Um, and then, um, then you can, you know, you can make your own. There's a lot of websites and places like Walmart and Shoppers will also, like, make custom calendars. Uh, so the prices vary for that, so I, I'm not really sure. I've never really done it. I do know, I have found in the past, and I did this last year for my two aunts, my two aunt and uncles, I made calendars for them. You can buy, like, scrapbook ones. Um, I think at, like, Walmart. I bought mine at Michael's. Or not Michael's, but Walmart. And my, Walmart and Michael's, you can buy them, I think. The last thing I wanted to talk about was just, um, you know, get somebody, getting a mug. I love mugs. I actually bought this mug at, um, Michael's. It's part of, like, they have, like, this, like, little, like, pet section. Like, I love my pet. This has nothing to do with the pet. I just like the pattern. I love this, like, like, what do you call this? Like, checkered pattern. Um, it was only five bucks. And it's, like, it's a fairly big mug. Like, it's big. Um... I don't know. I thought it was really cute. Uh, so anyways, that was it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my, Chris my uh, Christmas stocking stuffer guide for her um, for this year. Um, please like. Please subscribe. I have a lot of great videos coming up. I'm hoping to film a, a couple more videos and then edit them tonight. They're not as long as my gift guide for her, hopefully. So, um, well, we'll see. Um, anyways, I hope you guys liked. Uh, please comment down below telling me what your favorite stocking stuffers are. Um, and until ne next time, guys, happy holidays.